Hello everybody, Berto Kai here, and welcome back to Satisfactory. So, in the last episode, we made our oil processing. We're doing rubber, we're doing plastic, and all that good stuff is going to be made to be used to make, uh, I think, computer chips, and computers, and, oh man, all kinds of good stuff. And like I promised, off cam, I doubled our power infrastructure. We are now running 2,200 megawatts of power. I pretty much will just double the other side, made the same bloody design and put it on this side. And I also upgraded to a truck instead of a tractor. Uh, this thing is wobbly as hell. <laughs> <laughs> it's great though. And remember all those resources that were back here? The all those eight iron and the one limestone? Yeah, we're taking advantage of those. They're all put up into a line and ready to go and almost ready to join in into our base. I think there's another limestone down there. I don't know if I'm gonna grab it. It is just an impure one, but We'll see on how the base folds out because I think there's going to be a height restriction. That's why I didn't take it. Um, also, down there, there's two more limestone here and there. I've also connected those up. So we have three limestone and eight iron. These are all impure, by the way. And right over here, uh, just down this ridge, uh, there's also another two impure copper nodes uh, right there that I'm going to hook up and bring into the system as well. But today, we aren't going to be playing around with little things like that. We have all kinds of major projects to get ready for. So, we need to use our little cube thingies, our modular frames, and we're going to make heavy modular frames. Now, remember, we have an overflow system. Our system is completely based upon overflow. So, Therefore, we need to have some kind of storage buffers in between these. So that way, we're always guaranteed to have materials on hand. So up above these floors, I'm not going to go up because it's just a pain in the ass to go up. Uh, there's four storage, uh, the heavy big ones that are back there. That's going to store almost 10,000 modular frames. And I have another one for the motors. That's going to store another 10,000 motors. And over here for the stators and the uh, rotors, yeah, that's what those are, there are only two of them. So that's only going to be 4,000, 4,600 or 4,800, yeah, 4,800 items. <clears throat> but I think that's good enough. Um, what else? So we're going to need a few things. And let's go have a look at what these two things are. So after crunching a bunch of numbers, I finally figured out what we're going to be doing today. So, um, yes, we're going to be making our heavy modular frames, right? So in order to be doing these, these can pump out uh, two per minute, <laughs> only two per minute. And you need 10 modular frames just to get two of these things. That's insane. Absolutely insane. Our factory back here produces 20 modular frames per minute um, with a backup storage of like 10,000. So we're going to be okay to jump this number up a little bit, but only by a little bit because this factory is going to get huge if we make too many. So I chose to make 10 per minute. That means five of these big beasts will be fed. Um, buy a whole bunch of different things so we got we're gonna need like uh, 50 modular frames per minute which we're doing 20 so we're just shy of half so we're gonna do we are gonna go through our supply but I don't know how fast right um, steel pipes we're gonna need 150 of those per minute which is 10 manufacturers which is these things right here then, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, we got um, industrial encased beams. Those are going to be made in the assemblers. Uh, we're going to need 13 assemblers because uh, we have to pump out 50, uh, yeah, 50 of these beams per minute. And you only make four per minute. That's, that's insane. So we need like 13 of these things. Um, what else here? We got... Uh, for steel beams that we're going to need, we're going to need 21 manufacturers for those things. Like right now, the longest we have out there is 15 or 16, I think, long. 
I think it's 16 long. So we're going to have to add four more to one. Ah, that's going to be crazy. It's going to be just a little bit longer than the other one. Uh, and probably almost as tall as the other one. So that's not so bad. And we're also going to need to bring in concrete for this. Um, that's where we're going to get our next line of materials. We're going to start bringing that in and setting up a proper line for that one, this one, the one over there, and bringing in the two that we have for three off of this line over here. So we're going to bring all that in and make a nice concrete uh, smelting thing for it. Well, it's actually not smelters, it's uh, with these uh, manufacturing things there. So we'll see how many we can fit in in a row. We might be able to do two of them and have two of these being two rows being fed. That way we have for sure a lot of concrete being produced so yeah we'll think, of, think about something like that uh... so that's about it so we'll start getting uh, ready for the concrete i'll uh, plan that out and that's going to be our first task is getting the concrete up and running properly most excellent so now we have uh... all of this hooked up into our system now the bottom row over here is iron and the top one is limestone uh, I believe that's a normal and an impure uh, limestone that's being fed from over there. Uh, everything's also been upgraded to a Mark II miner, everything that we're using now. Uh, same with this one here, uh, that one over there, and the one up there, which is a pure. And then we have two impure here. So all those are being fed in onto our bus and up and over. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. Uh, right now the extra iron, I just have it thrown into the uh, steel production. Uh, probably not really necessary, but it was just to bring it over and tie it into something at the moment. Um, if I would need to bring it and tie it up into the other one, I could always separate half and do whatever it is or put more into one or the other. But other than that, now it's time to get on to our next project is actually doing something with all of this limestone yeah that's it we need to make concrete so off to go make concrete there we go we got 19 constructors all in one little row here getting ready to make some concrete all we have to do is hook this stuff up and concrete away Woohoo! oh this is so awesome I'm starting to look pretty busy around here everybody very busy 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 there we go, so that's all going to pump in and separate and make concrete. Uh, why you no go farther? Hmm, did I forget a belt or something? Uh, can I get up here? Hello, where do I get up? Don't tell me it's on the other side. Ugh, it is too. Alright, well I can solve that problem. It's called uh, destroy the wall. And what did I do? What did I mess up? What did I mess up? Uh, the belts? Really? How did I mess that up? That's weird. Apparently all the belts are in the wrong direction. Okay. Well, I guess uh, I got some belts to fix. But other than that, uh, yeah. We're, we're going to be making concrete. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll fix this boo-boo and we'll get back to the rest of the project. Okie dokie, so now we got the first floor and the second floor kind of like started. Um, I still have to put the power in on this side. Uh, so the first 11 on this side and the first 10 on this side are going to make uh, steel beams. The last... 10 so the last five on each side are going to be responsible for making steel pipes uh, all the steel beams are going to join in and come out here and feed up into here along with the concrete this is going to feed in to make the heavy uh, what is it there um, <laughs> these things one second uh, yeah case industrial beams that's the words I was thinking of <laughs> Yeah, totally. And um, those will get fed out and come out on this side, and they will go to the top floor. The ones at the very back, um, I don't know if I should bring them out through the front and just have everything flowing through the front to make it kind of look kind of cool. Um, or I just bring it up through the back. I'm not sure yet. 
I still haven't figured that part out. Um, then I guess all we're going to need left after that to feed into the factory is the modular frames. And that will, I'll choose a spot in the front here to bring it up and make it look kind of nice. So it's just a matter of really placing the last five, well there's only five manufacturers going up top. So, but they're still pretty big, so they're going to take up quite a bit of space anyways. And these, there's only 13 of these uh, assemblers upstairs. And they take up almost the entire row. Like, it's crazy. So those five should match pretty much all, almost, yeah, pretty close to this anyways. Or maybe a little less. But still, they're, they're pretty big, man. So it's going to be pretty cool. So I'm going to get to work on this and try to finish up that. Get the power all in here. Uh, these are already programmed on making what they have to make. And, yeah, we'll try to get this finished and see how it all looks in the end. Because, oh, man, this is going to be awesome. Heavy modular frames. Just absolutely amazing. Look at this. It's starting to look pretty awesome, our factory, isn't it? Woohoo! Pretty busy, busy, busy. Oh, man. All right, so we got the f all of this ready to go, actually. Um, everything's done. So now I'm just going to walk you through it and show you everything that we've uh, we've done here. Oh, let's see. Uh, no, it's one of these days. <laughs> all right, so... Over here, the first bottom row, uh, this is where we're doing all of our steel, right? So, oops, I should have gone over here. Uh, yeah, so here we're doing our steel beams, first little bit, and right here at the back, you see there's like an archway. Uh, that's where the steel beams are finished. And then at the back, there's one that goes up. That's where the steel... Uh, steel pipes are going. So the last few are, I think the last ten are, uh, are for steel pipes. Uh, up here we have everything to do with the iron anyways. Uh, these are going to make, uh, what are these making? Uh, case industrial beams on this side and then on this side we have just our screws being made. So that's not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. So all these are going up. Everything is coming up to the floor up top. Yeah, so that's looking pretty good, man. It's all looking pretty good. So, uh, like uh, before too, all my iron is uh, being recycled out here too as well. And the return for the steel as well comes out at the bottom. So, yeah, this is pretty cool. Now we get up to the top here where our big beasts are. So here's our five constructors. These things are going to be making our heavy modular frames. That's pretty wicked. So we're going to have uh, all of this stuff overflowing into here. So here we got our screws. We got the modular frames from uh, our other factory over here. Uh, we have our encased industrial beams that we're making on site here. Uh, I put a storage container down here. So that way eventually uh, we'll start stocking up on these and if I ever need them, I can come here and grab some. Uh, and this is pretty cool. I really like this. So we're just going to go up yonder and have a look at this because I think this is pretty cool. <laughs> this little zigzaggy pattern of uh, how we get all the, all the items in. So I have all the splitters just come on up. So these three are all coming on in this way. And the steel pipes, these are all being imported over this side right here. And done in the opposite direction. So, yeah. So all we're really missing now is uh, just power. So let's go and hook up some power to this. And uh, let's start making some heavy modular frames. Oh boy. Look at this go. Ooh, <laughs> this is going to be awesome. <laughs> Oh, totally awesome. Yeah, some of these conveyor belts won't take long to empty. Um, I think mainly because uh, they're only, their backup storage is only so much, but not the heavy modular frames. These encased industrial beams might after a while. Uh, the screws, they shouldn't. They should keep up. Uh, they shouldn't have a problem at all. And then in here, we should be making our modular frames. 
Oh, these ones haven't received. Oh, it's going to be the other one at the other end. Oh, yeah. Oof. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. That could be a problem. Uh, I might make it here eventually. Look at that. See, it's making it. It's making it. Eesh. Ah, well, we'll let it go. <laughs> Eventually things will all back up and everything will be good. And we're going to have uh, heavy modular frames being made. And well, Like I said, everything was on an overflow system, so it's going to take time for things to more or less overflow and do its thing. And in the meantime, it's uh, we got other projects to work on, so it gives it time to do what it has to do, right? But, uh, yeah, there we go. We're going to have uh, heavy modular frames being made. They should make their way down here. They should. Like, it's the one at the other end that's going to be making the most, right? So, we'll see how that works out. There we go. Here's our first heavy modular frame. Ha 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 ha. Well, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> so, I'm really liking the overflow. Uh, all my, uh, my little designs on this here. It's pretty cool, man. Like, I like this little S over here. How do you get the... Oh, I love these conveyors, these vertical conveyors. They are so awesome. They completely change the look and the way this game plays. It's it's friggin' awesome. So I think the next time, um, next episode, we're probably going to get into stuff that has to do with the plastic and the rubber. And uh, we're going to make some kind of vertical belt that's going to come over here and make a new row. Uh, I decided earlier that I was going to make a new row of, uh, of material. So that way I can leave at least two or three rows in between each. That way I can have like a, a buffer. And if I need to expand, because I'm assuming belt speed is, in a, is only going to go so fast. And eventually certain machines are going to stop because they're not going to have enough material feeding them. And I think from that point is that's when I'm going to have to make a second item bus for that in particular resource. Like say iron or uh, maybe copper or steel or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, But we'll see how it goes. I'll see how far I can stretch out all these resources before I have to make a second uh, bus line for them. And continue that on. And then... That's pretty much how this overflow system is going to kind of work because it's the only way I could see it um, kind of going. <laughs> it's working pretty good so far anyways because we got nothing but time in our hands in between episodes, right? So it's got time to back up and to store up and it's not like we need thousands of these items on demand at one in particular time right now. Nobody knows how the end game is going to develop right now, so it's going to be a little tricky, right? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. There's a lot of research left to be done. Speaking of research, we might actually start doing a little bit of research too next episode as well. Um, or I might dedicate a whole episode just to doing research of whatever we have and see if there's uh, a lot worth doing. <laughs> Well, I'm really liking the way this is looking so far, and uh, I'm wondering, I should be almost done the smelting area. I don't see it getting much bigger. Uh, I don't know how much other resources that you're going to need to smelt, actually. So we'll uh, we'll get to that in further episodes, but I hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. This was uh, Heavy Modular Frames, and we'll see you next time. Peace, take care.